Thanks for clicking that thumbnail. In today's video, we'll be talking about the all new for 2021, the Stealth Cam Fusion X. It sends video now. So a couple features real quick before we do the unboxing and really get into this. It's got a 26 megapixel sensor. You can download HD pictures and have video sent to your phone. You get a 30 day free unlimited plan. It now has integrated animal recognition and it also has filters so that you can organize the specific deer or whatever that you're looking into into folders. Like always, you can remotely program the camera with the app. And then now you have dedicated cloud storage. So you can store these in Stealth Cam's cloud and not have to worry about taking up space in your phone. So the image quality for the videos is 640 by 360 and then the image quality for the pictures is 1024 by 576 with the ability to download an HD photo of something that you really want to see. Now the video quality on this camera is only 720p. Last year I picked up a Stealth Cam Fusion and so far it's been the most reliable camera I had. It did have some downfalls. The main thing that I didn't like about it is it didn't take video. I like being able to capture videos because a lot of times, you know, the trigger will pick up a deer, but if it's during the rut or whatnot, you don't see that deer because they're flying by the camera. No matter how fast these trigger speeds are, they're just not quick enough for a buck chasing a doe. So I like using video because a lot of times they'll come back, circle around, and a picture won't be taken, but the video will pick that up. And it has a stupid SD slot. You can't get the SD card out, Stealth Cam. Hopefully it's fixed in this one, we're gonna find out. But other than that, it really does work very well. I turn it off for the spring and I just turn it back on and I've been using it for my security camera here at my house. So now with the Fusion X, not only does it take video, it sends videos. So now I can get videos sent from my Stealth Cam Fusion X directly to the app, directly to my phone, and I can see some videos Right on the app now it is very low quality it's like 360p or whatever on a phone it really doesn't make that much of a difference unless you're really wanting to zoom in if there's something in the background you want to see you're not really gonna be able to see it very well and from a scouting standpoint i mean all you really need to know is when the deer are there if the deer are there you know etc that's it for a quick overview of the features let's go downstairs do an unboxing and really get into this camera then we'll get it set up in the field and then by the end of this video, I should have a couple images for you. So now this is the Stealth Cam Fusion X. It's new for 2021. It's based off the Fusion from last year. It is pretty much the same camera from the looks of it. it. Has 26 megapixels, four power LEDs, 80 foot range, 0.4 second trigger speed, and then mine is the Verizon, but you can also get an AT&T. With the Stealth Cams, you do get a 30 day free unlimited plan, and now it has photo and video download. So you can download high definition photos as well as low definition videos. It has GIF video preview, so basically it's gonna show you like a little two second clip or three second clip, whatever of whatever is walking in front of your camera and then you can download it if you want to. On the back of the box, it has all the features of the camera as well as the app. Mostly the app, to be honest. Open the box, it's wrapped in plastic, you got your antenna, camera, strap, and then the manual. Now with everything out of the box, you can see the camera, antenna, strap, and the manual. Before we put the antenna on, let's take a look at the camera. You got your indicator, camera, infrared sensor, it looks like those are the four LEDs. I will say four LEDs doesn't sound like a lot, but I, I know from the Fusion, it actually lights up really well. You get a lot of great night images. On the back of the camera, they have it open so you can slide the strap through or you can put a steel cable on the back side for security purposes. On the bottom, you got a quarter 20 fastener that's built into the camera, as well as the 12 volt power input. If you look there, it's got a really tight ring there. I think that is an improvement from last year because I think that'll hold the cord a little bit better, keeps it snug. I've always thought they should just have like a screw-on adapter to connect those together to keep those cameras plugged to the 12 volt batteries because that's the one problem I have. The 12 volt really helps. You don't ever have to fill up your batteries or buy batteries, but it does come unconnected and when it comes unconnected, 
it'll drain your batteries, therefore you have to buy new batteries. On the inside, it looks just like the original Fusion. Go into the app, add a camera, hit OK. Next, activate. So very simple, very quick. So I need to screw on the antenna, install the batteries, insert the SD card. Already done that. Hit next, turn it on. Let's see how long it takes to activate. Once the lights turn on, you gotta turn them off, then you hit the sync button. Wait for all three LEDs to turn off and your camera is now ready for deployment. So we'll click on it. I think that's the image of my table. Let's close this. And then we'll go into camera settings. Time zone is Eastern. 12 hour format. So basically that's military time or regular time. And it doesn't look like you give an option for photo or video, it's one or the other. So it's save, video, and then it doesn't give you an option for, so it's just 720p, 30 frames a second. Video, audio. There's no audio for your videos with the stealth cams. Video length, 10 seconds, that's the only option. DVR modes, uh, it will write over the oldest files. Your information bar on, and then operation hours, you can change that. And like I said before, that's more for like schedules. Photo, see what the options are for that. You got four megapixel, eight megapixel, 16 megapixel, and 26 megapixel. You do 26. Delay, five seconds. Yeah, that's good. Photo burst, do one to three. And I think if you go down to like eight, you can go up in photo burst. Yeah, you can go all the way up to six. So you got your blur, advanced, or standard. Just do advanced, temperature, DVR mode, etc. All that is the same. So we got cellular settings. So I have them set to instant. You could do instant group, hourly, twice per day, once per day. Right now I'm just gonna do instant. And then if you had a set to once or twice per day, then it would basically work in 12 hour increments. Uh, if it was twice a day or once a day, it would upload videos at the time that you set here. And then right there, it shows the last sync as of 11.10. So the sync is still at central time hour, so basically it was four minutes ago. And then you need to update the camera. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So hit the sync button. Do not remove power while the LEDs are flashing red. And then when the LEDs stop flashing, the camera is ready to be deployed. So I assume when it flashes red, it will be doing the update. Now flash to green, they're probably gonna do all the regular sync where it shows the battery network and account. All right, done blinking, it says it's ready to go. So I got the stealth cam set up, it's working just fine. It sent me images already of me driving by it. I was messing with the Moultrie. I got a Moultrie Delta, I think is what it's called. That video will be up in the next couple of days. But for right now, that Fusion X is working great. So I got the app pulled up here and you can tell that it's working. It is set to photo. I'm gonna go ahead and change it to video real quick. See right here, I'm driving out and right there I was doing about 11 miles an hour and I'm like right in the middle of the screen. It's a little slow on the alerts. I have the Stealth Cam Fusion X set up right underneath my killing stand and I'm gonna move it probably in the next couple days but I just gotta get time to get to go to the other farm. So far my Stealth Cam Fusion has been my most reliable trail camera so I'm hoping that the Stealth Cam Fusion X will be just as reliable as that camera. So everybody watching I understand that you know some people have had problems with these and you know leave comments let, let people know you've had problems but my experience I have not had many problems with the Stealth Cam Fusion cameras. For the most part, you know, I've had good luck with cellular shell cameras. So back to the Stealth Cam Fusion X. Let's take a look at these images.
So if we go into the stealth cam, click this, and then you click there. And then you can go down, you can scroll through. I'm just gonna click one of these. I ended up getting 1,300 images. I had the settings way too close together and it just was snapping pictures all night. Battery's damn near dead. Now you can favorite this photo with that. I don't really know what that is right there. Uh, I've messed with it and it doesn't seem to do anything. And then if you wanna send it to somebody, you can do that. If you wanna delete it, you can do that. Now, if you wanna do a high resolution download, just click that. And as of right now, it's five cents per image. I don't know if that is what it is when you're paying for the plan or I don't know if that's just for the trial period since you're not paying for anything for the first 30 days. I assume they probably don't want you to go overboard on downloading videos and all this stuff when you're not paying for it, even though you just paid, you know, 150 plus bucks for the camera. I don't know. I, I don't know if that's going to change. I, it would be nice if they at least gave you a number of downloads you could have per month or whatnot uh, for free because I mean, it's not like I'd make a ton of downloads. I mean, the picture quality is pretty good, like I was saying. I mean, you turn this to the side, and that image is, is decently good. Regardless, as of right now, they're charging you either five cents an image or 25 cents a video. Click this, and then you click up on the top, you can click filters, and then you can go through and you can click HD, and then you click there and you have two videos that I had downloaded, or pictures that I downloaded. Now this says HD, it is not HD, it is just the 360p video. I assume they just mark it HD since it was downloaded. But that's what 25 cents gets you, as of right now. Turn to the side, play it. There you go. And then you go back, there's the HD image there. And I'll do, I'll throw a comparison up to this downloaded image and the image that is already on the trail camera. Go back into filters, 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 buck, back, and then you click over there. And that is not right. So it needs a little work on the filters. I mean, there's a buck. It did shorten my, uh, list there because like I said there was 1300 pictures it said there's 71 with bucks those obviously aren't bucks so there's a mistake in the ears for antlers and then you have turkeys hogs humans it says that you can do other filters but I don't really if you type a word I mean how's it gonna know is it programmed for that word like if I put in razor is it gonna program every time that there's a razor in the uh, image I don't I don't know that's that's just a weird weird thing to be able to add a tag so obviously it's mistaking the doe for, you know, doe's ears for antlers, but it did filter it down to 71 photos rather than 1300 photos. That's all the new stuff that I learned as of right now within the app. Uh, we got the photo tracker and there's not enough information you got yesterday. I mean, it showed all the pictures taken yesterday, hundreds of pictures taken. And then you go to the week, it's gonna, I mean, obviously there's just not enough information to really determine anything. But cellular settings, we went over this earlier in the video and then camera setup, we went up. But that's pretty much it. So hopefully you guys got the information you wanted on this new Stealth Cam Fusion X. The Fusion is a great cellular trail camera. The one complaint I had about it when I got it was the price point. I think I bought it for like 199 bucks. Now I think you can get them around 99 bucks. So that was the price point it should have been from the beginning. Um, now with this other Moultrie mobile camera, so if you haven't seen that video, go check that video out. 99 bucks, there's a lot to live up to. This camera's priced pretty good. I'm sure it will go down by next year. It'll probably be a $99 camera. I think it was like 120 something dollars. Where I can't remember where I bought it. Right off the top, I can tell you what I don't like is the SD card slot. They haven't changed it. It's still too snug. It's hard to get the SD card out of there. I understand, you know, the whole point is of a cellular trail cameras, you don't go and pull the SD card. But when I do want to get it, I don't want to be pulling at it for five minutes to get it out. And then the other thing is I don't like that you have to pay for the downloads. I wish they would at least give you a certain amount that you could download for free with the unlimited plan. And then from there, you know, if I go over, I'm willing to pay. The one thing I will say is I want to make sure people know that I do not 
know if you have to pay for them once you actually start paying for the plan because they do give you a 30-day trial period and i'm sure they don't want you just downloading video after video or hd image after hd image on a free plan even though you just spent 100 and plus for a camera. Other than that, I think the camera is great. It's working great so far. The images that are sent to your phone that aren't even HD quality are really high quality images. They're, they look good. I like the concept of the GIF. It shows three different images that, you know, of a, a deer going across the screen. I do like that concept and then download it later. I don't mind doing that. That's not a big deal, but I don't like the fact that I had to pay 25 cents for it especially a 360p image. One of the other cameras that I use, I can literally watch HD videos on it and I will be doing a review on this camera, but I can watch HD video live on this camera and I've spent $10 a month on data. I think this is a good camera. Uh, they have some kinks to work out obviously, but come back for the review. I'll be doing a review three to four weeks. This was just an overview. Hopefully you guys liked the overview of the Stealth Cam Fusion X. Thanks for watching. Comment down below, hit that like button, subscribe. I gotta go.